All right, guys, good morning. We're going to go ahead and get started. This is uh, Matrix 701. This is a special edition. So this is going to be like, for example, a, a sample of all of the different product and services that we offer that allow you to conduct international uh, business. Specifically, the main focus today is going to be going over the global page uh, that we are on right now. And then after that, we're going to jump into Matrix. We're going to do a couple of searches. Uh, we just recently launched a section for Global Regional uh, where you can search for uh, listings all over the world and including uh, listings within the United States as well, such as in New York or Texas or, or uh, Washington State as a couple of examples. After that, what we're going to do is we're going to do some cross-property searches within the MLS and then we're, what we're going to do is we're going to study the uh, county of Miami-Dade and then figure out the areas where we're seeing a lot of uh, interest from uh, buyers all over the world. After that, we're going to do a deep dive and then look at the zip codes where uh, folks are buying all over the world. The main reason why you want to know the zip codes where people are purchasing is, for example, if you have a Realtor.com page, a Homes.com page, or even a Zillow page, there is a section where you can actually input the different zip codes that you service. So we're going to look at the different zip codes where there's a lot of concentration on foreign buying, uh, specifically from investors, so that you guys have some tips in order to add some additional zip codes to your repertoire. On top of that, we're also going to look at uh, out-of-state buyers as well, including the zip codes where they're purchasing. After that, we're going to do a stats uh, check. We're going to go into the stats section, and then we're going to look at the historical sales by year from foreign investors investors over the course of the past 10 years. And, and then after that, we're going to go over the process and procedure uh, regarding how you can input an international listing into the MLS. We're going to go over the rules and regulations, uh, specifically section 1.1.3 that deals directly with the countries that you're not allowed to input within the MLS so that you are aware of that. And then we're going to go over the process of listing. If you ever input an international listing into the MLS, you're going to enter that per MLS rules and regulations as United States dollars. So you would input the uh, actual purchase price as U, uh, USD within the MLS. After that, we're going to do a deep dive. We're going to jump into uh, Proxio. Proxio is one of my favorite systems. Uh, Proxio allows you to do several different things. So whenever you go into your gateway, the very first thing you see is Proxio Connect. Proxio Connect allows you to build an international referral network with other agents and brokers all over the world. For example, you may have a buyer locally that may want to buy uh, land or an actual structure, maybe, for example, in South America or, for example, Colombia. And then what you can do is go into uh, Proxio Connect, look for uh, agents within that specific city, and then reach out to them and then see if you might be able to get a referral by giving them the buyer. Uh, after that, we're also going to go over my favorite part of Proxio, which is the Proxio Developer Showcase, is that Proxio Developer Showcase provides you a free website where your clients can search uh, listings within the United States and also search for listings all over the world. Also, uh, there is a lead generation option built into the search page that you can create and design. For example, you have a client that goes to your website that is provided by Proxio. They have the ability to input their information. And then what that does is that's going to turn into a lead that you can follow up and service. So what we're going to go ahead and go over first, guys, real quick, is the page located right here. It is the global uh, portion of our website. You can find it by going to the very top of the website. I am going to go ahead and post the link right now into chat. It's going to be located right here on MiamiRealtors.com. You're going to go to the very top where you see global, and then you're going to give that a click. All right. So within this section, there's a lot of great resources. Let me go ahead and let this person into the uh, room. All right. Perfect. So moving down on the right, whenever you come to this page, we have this very first section right here for global partners. If you give that a click, what that's going to do is give you all of the associations, 
all over the world that uh, has a partnership directly with the Miami Association of Realtors. This includes listing visibility and also allows you to connect with these organizations in order to receive a possible referral within a transaction. All right, so we are currently uh, partnered with 255 uh, partners. Uh, within the system. If you do want to see that list as far as a an option for a presentation, you may uh, do so right here on the right side of the page. We do have the PDF located right here under Miami Partner Associations. All right, we're going to go back to the global page. The next section that I wanted to show you guys is our global property exchange. I'm going to go ahead and give this a click. All right, so all of these areas, for example, right here on the right, Toronto, Canada, Brazil, Greece, Hong Kong, Israel, Panama, they're giving the Miami Association of Realtors as a partnership uh, listings, uh, our listings that are appearing specifically within their websites. So they do have a direct feed with the Miami Association of Realtors. So we do have a very large amount of our listings appearing abroad all over the world in these specific areas. All right, we're going to keep going. All right, moving down, we also have, uh, last year we have a report that was made regarding a surge in international purchasing down here in South Florida. Later on, we're going to do a couple of searches where we're going to see exactly where there's a lot of uh, foreign interest specifically within the five-county area. All right, moving down, the next one is global membership. Um, this is not necessarily for you guys. What I mean by you guys is paying members of the association. You automatically, by being a realtor or realtor associate or broker, automatically have access to all of the different product and services that we offer. The only thing that you may consider under global membership as far as an an option to upgrade would be by upgrading to uh, Platinum Plus. Uh, Platinum Plus would be roughly $179 a year. Uh, what that's going to do is include some upgrade options specifically for Proxio. For example, you can feature up to six uh, of your listings within their system. So if anyone goes into their property search in Proxio, and then you actually uh, feature one of your listings, it's going to appear at the very top. So you can do that with six listings. It's roughly 179. This option right here where it says global membership, that's going to be for non-members. Uh, that's going to be for someone that maybe is in, for example, California, uh, that doesn't want to join the association. They don't want to have MLS access. They just want to have access to the products and services that we have that is not integrated within the M MLS. The option that I mentioned, again, that's Platinum Plus. That is um, the option that's comparable to this for you guys, where you, again, can have access to lead generation options with Proxio. You would also get unlimited document storage with Form Simplicity and eSign. And then you would also have access to a, an exclusive product by the name of Top CMA. So what I'm going to go ahead and do real quick is I'm going to go ahead and uh, pull up the Platinum Plus page real fast so that I can put that into the chat just in case you guys have any questions about that service. All right, so I did get a question, how to get to the uh, global page. Let me go ahead and go back. All right, so in order to get to this page, guys, all right, hope, bear with me a moment. Sorry about that. You're going to go to the very top of the website. I'm just letting a couple of people into the chat. All right, you're going to go right here where it says global. You're just going to give that a click, and then that's going to take you right to this page. All right. So we're going to keep going. I also want to make sure I mention that the National Association of Realtors has a, a version of the website available in Espanol right here. Moving down, we also have this section, which is our referral network. We have partnered with many, many different uh, areas uh, specifically that allows your listings to appear all over the world uh, so if you ever, for example, you have a client, you input an international listing into the MLS, they say, hey, where does my listing go? Where's where's my international visibility? So where you would go is right here. You would go right here where it says Miami link to the world. You'll give that a click. And it's also available digitally right here. You have a QR, uh, a QR code right there. 
And then moving down, we have all of these websites right here that are considered international websites that do have your listings appearing there. All right, moving down, you also can see the main distribution uh, websites right here that send your listings to sub uh, websites as well. All right, what I also wanted to make sure I mentioned, if you're brand new to the board, all of our listings go to roughly about 750 different websites. In order to see all of those websites, including analytics of who's clicking where, you would want to register a free account by going to listhub.com. I'm going to go ahead and put that into the chat. There's no cost associated with registering. You can see exactly who's clicking where on your listings, and you can also turn off some websites if you don't want it to appear as well. All right, so we're gonna keep going. Let me go ahead and close this page. All right, thank you for your patience, guys. All right, and then on the left, we also have the global news and blog post section right here. Recently, uh, back in June, we did host a FIOPSI. So you do have access to that article reg uh, regarding all of the information there. Moving down, we also have, it's th this section right here, it's the 246 partnerships worldwide. It's the same thing that I mentioned over here under global partners. Uh, moving down, we also have more information here under global product and services. All right, so the two things that we're going to discuss uh, today is going to be uh, the international MLS system along with the Proxio Connect system and how to effectively use uh, matrix in order to search uh, for international listings and also create statistical reports. All right. So what I want to go over first, guys, is a product that we offer by the name of the International MLS. All right. I want to make sure I mention every single product that we offer has a dedicated landing page. For example, you get an email about RPR. Um, all you have to do is go to miamirealtors.com slash RPR in order to get more information. For the ML IMLS, which is this product, you would just simply go into your browser, type in miamirealtors.com slash the IMLS. What I'm going to go ahead and do is just plug that into chat so you guys have access to it. Uh, this is a product that we are providing uh, complimentary to you guys that includes some amazing options. Uh, this is kind of similar to Proxio, but um, it does include listings all over the world that can be searched into a hundred different languages. If you have listings that are within the United States and also internationally, those listings are appearing in the IMLS system. Every single product page that we offer has a section on the right where it says fast access. This is going to give you information on how to register. So for example, in order to register for an account so that you can upload your information, upload your agent profile mugshot uh, so that you have full uh, presentation within the IMLS system, you're going to see step one right here. You're, go you're going to click where it says visit the IMLS members login page and then click here. All you have to do is input your email address that's that you have with the Miami Association and then click forgot password. And then the IMLS system within a couple of minutes will send you an email so that you can gain access into that system. So right now what's included for free uh, is the ability to be a part of the agent directory. So if anyone searches for uh, for you or they search within the zip code of where you work, they're going to be able to find your agent profile. So it would be advantageous for you to go into the IMLS system, set up your profile, input your information. That way, if anyone searches, they're going to reach out to you directly. All right. All right. So we're going to keep going. Uh, this is going to be the IMLS. We're going to try to uh, cover that towards the end of the class. Uh, the next thing that we're going to go over is we're gonna go ahead and jump into uh, Matrix right here. All right, so there's a brand new section located here under search. We're gonna hover our mouse over search, and then we're gonna come down to the brand new section that was recently launched, which is the global regional area search option built into Matrix. I'm gonna go ahead and give that a click. 
All right. So very, very quickly before we go over each section, you do have the ability to search for listings all over the world. Uh, and you can also search for countries using U.S. region based on properties that are available within the United States as well. So I, I want to quickly mention before we do a deep dive and then we start looking at all of the information. Uh, whenever you, for example, you input a an international listing into the MLS, a Florida contract might not be enough in order to list that property within the MLS. You want to make sure that you have all proper documentation for that country, including any prov including the province where that property is located. Uh, realistically, what you would want to do is um, you wouldn't be able to reach out to the legal hotline. You can try. What they're going to likely do is tell you to reach out to a, a lawyer that is uh, very good with uh, real estate abroad. But you want to make sure that any documentation, including a listing agreement, is acceptable specifically in that country. Um, if you would like, you do have the ability to go to uh, MiamiRealtors.com. We do have in a section here under affiliates, you do have the ability to go under the Miami affiliate directory and then look to see uh, if you're ever working an international uh, listing, you might be able to go here and then look for an attorney uh, that might be able to uh, properly write an agreement for that specific country. All right. All right, so I am going to go back real quick, guys. All right, so in order to get to this section, which is the global regional area search, you're going to go to the very top where you see search right here. Then you're going to scroll down, and then you're going to go right here where it says global regional area search. You're going to go ahead and give that a click. All right, so like always, guys, whenever you take a, an MLS class with me, I always want to make sure I mention on the top left corner of the page, we automatically provide the options to search uh, active, coming soon and active with contract as a default whenever performing a search. I want to make sure to mention that not everyone wants to see a property that's not available yet that's coming soon. And then some people don't want to see a property that's under contract. So you do have the ability to go over here, unselect, and then go to the top right corner where you see the cog wheel. And then you can click set current selected search criteria as my starting default. So the next time you come into global regional area search, you'll just have active selected from there. All right. So I want to make sure I mention it might be different from for you guys. Um, yes. If you don't see it here under this, the menu, it is going to be located here under cross property under global regional area search. So I do want to make sure I mention that I do have a staff level access. It, I think it might be a little bit different, but for you, it's going to be right here under cross property. You're going to scroll down and then you're going to give global regional area search a click from there. All right. All right. So I did get a question from Isaac. How do I hold on real quick? Let me go back up. How do I get the global search for the commercial MLS? Um, there should be two categories for you. You should have a com search at the top and then you should have a, a uh, res search. If I remember correctly, if you have your mouse over the res search option, you should have access to cross property in the drop down for my commercial members. All right. So we're going to keep going, guys. When it comes to the global regional area search, you do have the ability to search for, just like normal, single family homes, condos, co-ops, villas, and townhomes. For those of, those of you that don't know what a co-op is, essentially a co-op is a building that is owned by multiple people. You can also search for income properties. For example, right here under multifamily income, you can search for a duplexes, triplexes, quadplexes that are available internationally or also uh, within the United States using the global regional area search. Moving down, you can also search for residential land, boat and docks, and land that is zoned commercial, business, and agricultural. Moving down, uh, there's not too big of a market. I did look at look at it the other day, but you can search for rentals that are available. I did see a couple available in Colombia that's there. And I want to mention again, I said this in the beginning of the class, uh, perimilous rules and regulations. Whenever you're looking at you're looking at an international property, the price should be entered. I'm not saying that the agent's 
doing this, but the listing should be entered in as USD. You can, of course, always reach out to that agent just to confirm if that price is within the uh, within USD or if it's based on that local country's monetary system. All right, moving down, we're going to keep going. You can also search for commercial uh, properties as well, such as office spaces all over the world, uh, industrial spaces as well, flex spaces using the commercial industrial section. Moving down, we also have access to business brokerage. Business brokerage just simply means business opportunity. If you want to search for uh, businesses that are for sale, uh, not, necess not necessarily the structure, but the business itself is being uh, provided for sale. Again, both internationally using the system or within the United States. All right. So that's going to be the left side of the page. The next thing we're going to go over is the center right here. All right. So I'm sure you guys are used to uh, the searching based on the map, uh, searching by street, street direction, street name. What's really cool about this section so you have the ability to search using global area. For example, if you just want to see listings in Canada, you can do so by clicking Canada, Caribbean islands, Mexico, Central America, South America, Asia uh, Central, Asia Eastern, Asia Southeastern, Asia Southern, Asian, Asia Western, Australia, Europe Eastern, Europe Southern, uh, Europe Western, South Africa. Uh, Africa other, and then the South uh, Pacific Islands. All right, another cool option that you guys can do is using country. There's two different ways to use this. I'm gonna give you the example once we start doing searches. You can actually just go right here, start typing in the country that you want to search. Or you can come over here where you see the double uh, squares that are stacked on each other. You can give that button a click. And then what it's going to do is give you all of the preset countries here that you can use to search and then add them in order to search for listings. For example, we'll, I'll go ahead and add uh, Argentina, uh, Belgium, uh, Bolivia, just so, just so I show you guys how you can add them. Once you select it, you're gonna click add, and then it's going to add those countries here on the right under current uh, selection. All right, perfect. So I'm gonna select active, and I'm gonna give you guys a couple of cool little tips whenever you're doing a global regional area search. So first I'm gonna select active, and then from here, we're going to look at, for example, single family properties. We're also going to look at condo, co-op, villa, and townhomes. And then we're going to look within the countries. We're going to make a couple of selections. That way we can customize our grid. We're going to come here to country. And then we're going to type in, for example, Argentina. We're going to look at also Colombia as well. And Peru as a couple of options. Uh, you guys are more than welcome in chat to provide me some additional countries that we can research as well. First, we're just going to start with single family condo, co-op, villa, townhouse. And then we could still leverage, for example, we can still go here under global area. And then we can just simply add a couple of different options under global area. But I want to see what we're doing. All right. We got a couple. All right. So we're going to go ahead and also add Brazil as well we're going to add ecuador as well to the list we're going to do india we're going to go ahead and add india we got thailand that's awesome i love i love thai food <laughs> we're going to go ahead and add thailand let's do jamaica as well all right and israel we're going to go ahead and add that and we'll also check puerto rico all right so as you see, guys, you can continue to type and add as many countries as you want. So right now, I'm, again, we're telling the system that we want to see active and available listings, single family uh, that are also considered condo, co-op, villa, and townhomes uh, within the Argentina, Colombia, Peru, Brazil, Ecuador, India, Thailand, all the way to, down to Puerto Rico. All right, from here, what you're going to want to do is go down here to results. We're going to go ahead and click on results. However, as soon as we jump in here, it's not telling us where these properties are located. 
So I want to make sure that I, I set you guys up with a beautiful grid so that you can see where these properties are. All it's telling us right now is that these are international listings using the area 5990. In order to figure out where these listings are, we're going to come over here where you see ML number. Before I add some additional columns, I do want to speak to the big, uh, the big whale in the room, if you will, um, this section right here. You're not going to see this. I am a, sta a staff member, so I do have the ability to quickly enter listings. I do want to make sure I mention that just in case you guys ask. All right. So in order to figure out which countries, which we have the prices, we have the addresses, but we don't know where they are. So what we're going to do is go over here where you see ML number. We're going to hover over until it uh, turns into a crosshair. From there, we're going to click. We're going to move down. We're going to go here where you see insert column. You can do this in any search section. You're going to go right here where you see insert column. You're going to give that a click. And then we're going to add two things. We're going to add global city. It's going to be right here where you see global city. We're going to click apply. From there, we're going to go right here again where you see ML number. We're going to hover over the empty space. We're going to click again. And then from there, we're going to add also country. We're going to go ahead and type that in and then click apply. All right. So right now it's giving us kind of a mix of different uh, listings all over the world uh, based on the selections that we made. We do have that uh, Puerto Rico listing right here, the San Juan Puerto Rico listing, the 264 uh, Calle uh, Canovanas uh, San Juan available right there. Let me go ahead and let those folks into the chat. However, if you do, for example, if you do want to have your grid set up where you see all of the listings based on the country, what you can do is come over here where you see country, give it a click, click it again. And then what that's going to do is put the properties in reverse order. What I mean by reverse order is from the spellings uh, from the from Z all the way to A. If you click it, point it down, it's going to give us all of the listings from A to Z like so. All right. So if you do want to save this grid, this is a lot of great information. I want to make sure you guys know what you're looking at in order to save the grid that we set up for the global, the, uh, the global uh, research, we're going to come right here where you see manage display. We're going to click on manage display. And then from here, we can save it. We can put, for example, global uh, country and city info as an, exa as, as an example. And then click save as a copy. All right. So the next time you guys do a search within the international section, you can go right here under display and then select global country and city and then it's going to include the country as well as the global city right there all right so i just wanted to show you guys that you do have the ability to customize the information right now it is showing us the first 25 results however you can change the amount of listings you see on the page by coming up uh, right here and then for example you can show the first 100 on the page by clicking 100. And then what that's going to do is give us more listings to look at right here. All right. Okay, so that's just a quick little op uh, option of how to use uh, the global regional area search. I am gonna go back. We're going to go ahead and switch. I do wanna make sure I mention that you do have the ability guys to also search for uh, listings all over the United States but I wanna make sure that I'm clear. If you search for listings, for example, in the USA, maybe the Midwest, the Northeast, the Southeast, the Southwest, or the USA West, these are going to be listings that were entered by you guys. What I mean by that is Miami members specifically. Uh, however, it's not gonna show the listings uh, that were inputted by agents that belong to the associations in these areas. In order to see those listings, you're gonna wanna use a couple of different, uh, different products that are available in your gateway. I'm gonna go ahead and put those into the chat. The first one you would want to look at is going to be a product by the name of Professional Search. I just put that into chat. Professional Search is a nationwide system that allows you to look up listings all over the United States. 
as an alternative, if you want to look for listings that are specifically within Florida, you can also take a look at MLS data co-op. I just put that in the chat. And also the one that you guys probably know about, which is MLS advantage as well. Right. Perfect. So we're going to keep going, guys. Uh, again, this is more of the basic, basic search. The next thing that I want to show you, and everyone's going to be able to participate in this, including my, my commercial members, is uh, we're going to do some research. We're going to look uh, where all the foreign buyers are purchasing, uh, specifically in Miami. So in order to do that, what we're going to do is we're going to come over here to search. We're going to go to search. From here, we're going to go right here where you see cross property. And we're going to give that a click. All right. So first, what we're going to do is we're going to look at all of the closed sales. We're not going to search active. We're going to remove active. We're going to remove coming soon. And we're also going to remove active with contract as well. As well, We're going to come down here to closed. And then we're going to look at all of the closed sales in the MLS from foreign buyers. We're gonna look at within the past year. So we're gonna go back 365 days. All right, from there, what we're going to go ahead and do is we're gonna come over here to county. For this first example, we're going to select Miami-Dade County. And then from there, guys, what we're going to do is we're gonna scroll down and then we're going to add an additional field right here where it says additional fields. All right. If you've never added a field like below, if you've never added a field before, it's going to say add right here. If you've added fields like I have, it's going to say add remove. From here, we're going to click add remove. And then we're going to add a perfect option in order to search. We're going to add a field by the name of buyer's country of residence. So we're going to go right here type in buyer and then under available fields we have it located right here buyer country of residence and then we're going to click add from there all right so once we once we do that we're going to go down and forgive me i have a bunch of fields guys i've been here about eight years so there's a lot of different fields that i have but we're going to come right here to buy uh, buyer country of residence and then we're going to select all of the international uh, locations we're going to go here we're going to select Argentina. We're going to select Australia, uh, Brazil. We're going to select Canada, Chile. We're going to keep going. We're going to also do uh, China. Or we're going to do Colombia, France, Germany. We're going to look at India, Italy, Japan, Mexico. We're going to skip other because that is um, not specific enough. We're going to uh, select Russia as well. We're going to select Spain, uh, UK, uh, and also Venezuela as well so we're going to come up to the top and then within the miami-dade county right here within the past 365 uh days there has been a total of 3323 transactions uh, that have closed but we want to narrow down our search we're going to come here under property type and then we're going to select single family and condo and then what that does is it should change the results to 3085 all right so from there, guys, what I would suggest whenever you're trying to figure out the area areas, I should say, where uh, foreign buyers are purchasing, I would highly suggest to come over here where you see map, give that a click. And then what that's going to do is give us all of the close sales based on location. You're going to notice that there are batches. All right. As we scroll into the map, it's going to, the numbers are going to get a little bit smaller because we're zooming in, but this is giving us information based on the areas where foreign buyers are purchasing. All right. So in the next example, I am going to go over how we can search add the zip code layer, and then that way we can uh, work specific zip codes on our, for example, our realtor.com profile, our homes.com profile, or Zillow, so that we have more repertoire. What I mean by repertoire is you can add these additional zip codes to your accounts so that if anyone searches within those areas on those websites, again, such as realtor.com or Zillow, you're just going to show up uh, likely not at the top necessarily, but you're going to increase the likelihood of someone reaching out to you. All right, perfect. Okay, so from there, guys, what I also wanted to do is show you how you can actually export this information. You're going to want to do is go over here. I'm sorry about that. You're going to go to the top where you see results. You're going to click on results at the top. 
And then what we can do uh, from here is to include some additional options. I'm going to go ahead and remove the global city and the uh, country. And then what we're going to add to the column is the buyer's country of residence, meaning these are closed sales that have happened in the system from foreign buyers. But what we can do is add to the grid uh, where they're buying, where they're buying from. So we're going to type in buyer's country of residence. We have that option right here, and then we can click apply right there. All right, like I mentioned earlier, you do have the ability to uh, filter all of your results based on uh, putting all the countries together. For example, if you click the uh, country button, and what that does is it puts all of the listings in order. From here, we can change it to 100. And then what we can do, if you would like, we can also export this information uh, into an Excel spreadsheet. In order to do that, what you're going to do is select the listings, and then you're going to come down to the bottom. Bear with me, guys. I just need to move this real quick. And then you're going to click the export button at the very bottom right there. And then from here, you can click export. And then what that does is that's going to include the listings as an ex Excel spreadsheet. That way, if you work any kind of uh, statistical reports, you have the data there and then you can build your graphs from there. Uh, later on, I am going to go into a stats uh, report where you can create statistical reports as a part of a graph as well. All right. So let me go ahead and move this down real quick, guys. All right. So essentially what I'm doing is I'm showing you guys how we do the research that we post on MiamiRealtors.com. So I want to make sure I mention that. All right. So this next example, guys, is searching uh, searching for foreign buyers. It's going to be kind of similar to what we just did, but we're going to use the map. That way we can see where there's a lot of concentration, where a lot of foreign buyers are purchasing within the uh, Tri-County area. We're going to try to look at the Miami-Dade uh, County. We're going to look at the uh, Broward County. And also, uh, we're going to look at uh, Palm Beach. Now, I want to be clear. Our data goes as f uh, far north as, uh, as Martin County. So there are five counties within the search area, but I want to keep it a little, you know, a little small that we have a, a sample of listings to look at. All right. So what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to go to the top. We're going to go to search. From there, we're going to go back down to cross property from there. All right. And then from here, we're going to do like we did last time. We're going to select close sales within the past 365 days. We're going to look at single family and we're going to look at condo co-op villa townhomes as well. And then we're going to filter just like we did last time. We're going to go down. We're going to look at that field that we added, the uh, buyer's country of residence. We're going to select Argentina, Australia, Brazil, uh, Canada, Chile. Uh, we're going to select uh, China, Colombia. And I want to be clear, you guys can just search one country if you'd like. But for the, I just want to make sure I go over all of the ones we have listed as well i want to make sure i see yeah okay perfect then we're going to do russia we're going to do spain uk and then uh, venezuela as well and then from here we're going to select the county we're going to do uh broward uh, miami dade and then we're also going to look at palm beach county as well all right um actually you know what to, to make this simpler we're going to leave out palm beach county we'll do let's see yeah, let's do, let's do um I got an idea. Let's do let's stick with Miami Dade. I just want to make sure that there we go. I want to make sure that my matches is a little more reasonable. We're going to look at all of the 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 sales that have take, taken place within the past year uh for uh Miami Dade County. Again, for my Broward uh, folks out there, you can still do a Broward County. This one I just want to make sure that I narrow down the results that we we see everything. 5000 was too much. Uh, um, so we're going to go down here. We're going to click on uh, results. We have the listings here. And then what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to switch it now to the map. We're going to click on map. And then what I want to show you guys is a really cool option. You have a layer option in your uh, browser. It's going to be located right here. It's the three stacks of paper. Uh, in order to use the zip code option, you do have to zoom in a little bit. And then what you're going to be able to do is add these zip uh, boundaries from there. I'm going to scroll out a little bit to see if it'll keep it. There you go. And then we have concentration of sales right here. For example, Doral, 
Within the past year, we have a total of 202 transactions right here. If we scroll down, we have the Wynwood area, foreign buyers. Um, if we scroll in, I think the number changed. Yeah, it did. All right, boom. Within uh, the area, the zip code of 33137, we have a total of 124 sales that have happened in that area. Moving down within the zip code right here of 33130, we have a total of 254 sales. So what I'm doing, guys, is I want to make sure that you work uh, effectively, if you will, will. If you're ever using the system, you want to figure out the highest concentration of sales that is happening. All right. So bear with me a moment. There you go. All right. So what I would suggest, if you're ever going to go to your, again, your Realtor.com account, um, if you've never set up your Realtor.com account, what you want to do is go to Realtor.com. There's going to be a section at the top where it says, find a Realtor. From there, what you do is you search for yourself by your name, your your uh, first and last name. You're going to hit search. You're going to find a blank a profile that was automatically created for you. And then from there, what you do is you register your account. And then from there, you can personalize into your settings. And then you can input the areas that you serve. You, from there, you can input uh, these zip codes uh, that, we're, that we're mentioning. All right. For example, what we're going to go ahead and do is I'm going to build a list. I'm going to bring up my notepad. The first big area that I noticed was Doral. So we're going to go ahead and add uh, 331. Seven, eight there. We're going to go ahead and scroll out. Going to let the numbers fluctuate a little bit. Uh, and then from there, we're also going to do some more research. We, we're going to add to our list 33130. That is a great area to work. We're going to keep moving. We also have a total of 139 cells as well. Coral Gables. We're going to go ahead and add that zip code 33134. Again, what I'm showing you guys is how you can see the data that's available, all of the sales. And then you could add these areas, these hot areas to your uh, actual profiles. Again, your Zillow uh, profile, your realtor.com profile, and even homes.com. Um, if you guys haven't set up an account with homes.com, you can do so in your gateway. By coming down here, there's gonna be a button right there that says Homes Connect. And then from there, you can register. All right. So this is, uh, I do want to also mention, it's giving us the batches of sales. But if you want to see, for example, the actual sales, all you have to do is scroll in like so. Scroll in a little bit more. All right. Hold on. Bear with me a moment. The internet's fluctuating. All right. There you go. Hold on. Let me scroll in a little bit more. Ah, darn it. Hold on. There you go. There you go. Okay. So now we have these blue icons. These are properties that did sell uh, and the, a foreign buyer did purchase these homes. All right. So in order, for example, if you want to see the listing, you would just simply click on the uh, listing uh, home icon right here. And then you can see the information. You're going to get the listing number, uh, the status that it closed, the price, the square footage, and the bedrooms and bathrooms. If you click on listing, that's going to take you to the full view of the listing. And if you click the tax ID, that's going to take you into the uh, property tax record uh, from there. All right. So the next thing that I wanted to show you guys, that's an example of how you can do uh, foreign buyer research. The next thing that I wanted to show you is you can also search for out-of-state buyers. You have to remember, um, we have a lot of people moving down from other states. For example, New York, um, Washington State, California, Texas, as a couple of examples. So that's another thing that you guys can uh, research, figure out what zip codes they're purchasing in, and then you could add those zip codes to your repertoire as well. All right. Yeah, so George did mention something that um, I, I not a personal personal beef, but um, I wish that these icons were you you could move them around. Unfortunately, they're fixed. They're, you don't you don't have the the ability to customize this. All right. So the next thing, as promised, guys, I'm going to go over how to uh, search for within the MLS system uh, uh, out of state buyers. So from here, we're going to go to search. We're going to click on search. We're going to go. Once again, into cross property, we're going to click on cross pro property. Uh, we're going to remove active coming soon and active with contract. We're going to click on closed uh, sales. I am going to keep it as I did last time. You no, know, we're, we're going to keep it within the past 180 days. We're going to go ahead and keep it as a past 180 days. Uh, and then from there, we're going to add some additional options. All right. From there, we're going to look at the counties of Broward in Miami-Dade. 
And then what we're going to do is add an additional field like we did last time. We're going to come down here to additional fields. We're going to click on add remove. And then we're going to go under search right here. And then we're going to uh, add a field by the name of buyer. We're going to select buyer state and then click add from there. Uh, and then what we're going to do is we're going to search using uh, the uh, state field. All right, bear with me a moment. Let me just find that. Again, I have a lot. There you go. So we have it right here, buyer state. So what I wanted to feature is the, the main ones. We're going to go in here. We will select California. We'll look at Colorado. We do have some folks moving down from Connecticut. I'll include that. We'll, we'll also include Delaware. Let's look at uh, New Jersey also. And if you guys have any states that you want to see, you're more than welcome to mention it. Also include Puerto Rico as an option. Uh, New York's the big one. Let's add, let's add New York. Let's keep going. All right. Texas. There's a lot of Texans moving down to the Homestead area. I'm going to select Texas as well as a couple of options. And then from here, guys, um, what we can go ahead and do is just like last time, we can scroll all the way up. And then we can look at the map. We're going to click on map. And then this is going to give us the concentration, the areas, if we add the zip code boundary, like we did last time, of where they're purchasing. Go ahead and get that out of the way. Let me try to move that. All right, boom. All right. So right here, uh, like normal, <laughs> we most of them, there's a huge concentration closer to the water. So we do have, we do have the ability to see those zip codes. Uh, right here, we have the uh, zip code 33131 that we could add. Uh, moving out, let me just get the full listings to appear. All right. We also have the big one over here, the uh, 33140 that we could add. And also the zip code 33139 as well. Tour repertoire, we're going to scroll out a little bit and see if there's anything more west. All right. So there are some, there are some concentration of properties being purchased right here as well. Sorry, guys, it's the internet state. Oh, man, it's like not loading everything. Bear with me a moment. Let me try to scroll out. All right, and then we also maybe could work the 33134 uh, as well. Let's move down south to see if we have anything. And then, yeah, we do have some purchases down here. We do have a lot of new construction homes uh, further south towards the Princeton Homestead area that you guys might be able to add. Let me try to scroll out. There you go. There you go. Sorry, it's just not. There you go. And then, and then we, for example, we could add the Color Bay 33189 uh, and 33190 to our repertoire as well. Just wanted to make sure to feature those. Forgive me, guys. The internet, sometimes when you use this map, it doesn't load when you're on Zoom. But you, you guys get the feel of how you could use this effectively. All right. Oh, Virgin Islands. That's another one. Let's look at that. Let's add that real quick. All right. Do I have that listed? Let me go down. Let's go down. Yeah, we do. All right, so that is an option we can include. All right, so I wanted to show you guys that. I want to. That also works. For example, if you're just doing a, a regular search, uh, if you just want to see the concentration of sales happening in a given area. All right, the next thing that I want to go over. We're going to go to the top. The next thing that I wanted to go over is. Um, the stats section, we're going to go right here to stats. You do have the ability to run a stat search. For example, you can look at the historical amount of sales from foreign investors, and you can actually create a report that goes back 10 years. So we're going to go here under stats. We're going to click on stats. And then from there, we're going to look at sales such as single family, again, condo, co-op, villa, townhouse within the Miami-Dade uh, County area. And then we're going to need to use some additional search fields towards the bottom. We're going to use that uh, buyer country of residence once again. And the multi-status, we will select closed. And then we're going to include, just like we did the first time, all of the international countries. All right. All right, there you go. All right, and then from there, in order to generate the statistical report, you're going to come up here to the left uh, side where you see historic sales by year. We're going to give that a click. 
And then from there, we're going, we're going to click on generate. All right. So right here, we have the total, uh, total international sales within the system going all the way back based on the default to 2017. All right. Okay. So the green line right here represents sales numbers of 2017. We have the blue line, which represents sales numbers of 2018. Uh, the purple line, which represents sales numbers of 2019. The lighter uh, green, which is the sales numbers of 2020. The pink line, which represents sales of numbers of 2021. And the darker green, which represents sales numbers of 2022 as well. All right. So this is a chart. They're, they look fancy. They look. It looks professional. Uh, but I like to look at the numbers. So in order to see the actual count of sales, what you want to do is come over here where you see data. You're going to give that a click. And then that's going to show you the numbers. For example, uh, the total amount of sales from foreign uh, buyers in 2017 in January was a total of 1,037. 2018 in January, 1,068. 2019 in January, total of 945. 2022, uh, rather 2020 went up in January to 1,048. 2021 in January, a total of 1,312. And in 2022 in January, it uh, went up to 1,580. Again, you get it month by month and then from year to year. However, I do want to make sure to mention you can customize this report. If you want to uh, just see this year, you, you would go right here where you see customize. And then you can change the time frame. For example, you can search year to date, past 12 months, previous year. Or if you just want to search uh, for... Uh, data by year. You could, for example, select 2021, 2020, 2019, 2018, 2017, past five years, past 10 years, or by using a, cu a custom option where you can input the calendar dates. All right. So you do have the ability to ex um, export this information as a CSV. You would go right here where you see export a CSV. And then if you want to save that information and then maybe build a graph, using a different system, you can do so by clicking export a C uh, CSV. But if you want the chart with the data, for example, if you're going to do a presentation, there is an option for that. I'm going to show you that in just a moment. Uh, from here, you do have the ability to email the statistical report that you generated by clicking email. But if you want to save it maybe to a PDF, you want to show your, your team or you're doing a presentation, you can go over here where you see print, give that a click. And then you'll, you'll have that chart we just showed you. And then if you scroll down, you can also click show tabular data. And then you have everything broken down by total amounts as well that you could provide as a presentation. So in order to save this, for example, if you want to generate, generate it as a PDF, you're going to come down here where you see print. You're going to give that a click. And then as the destination, you're going to click save as PDF. And then from there, click save. And then you can uh, say, click save one more time. And then it's going to download to your computer. And then you could use it as a presentation, as an option. All right. So I hope you guys found that cool. There is different ways to pull this information from the system. Uh, we went over uh, an example of uh, doing just a closed cell search. Or you can come up here to get the numbers using the stats option as well. All right. So the next thing that I wanted to go over real quick, guys, is regarding entering listings into the MLS. Uh, entering international listings. All right. So in order to enter an international listing, what you're going to do is you're going to go right here where you see add edit. And then from there, you're going to click under listings. You're going to click add new. And then from there, you select the applicable property type. For example, I'm going to select single family manufactured homes. And then the next thing I wanted to make sure I mentioned is you're not going to be able to populate the listing using these options. This is only for South Florida. You won't be able to populate an international listing using this option. The only way to auto populate an out of area listings, uh, meaning outside of Florida or internationally, you're going to need to go right here where it says out of area or no tax folio. You're going to give that a click. And then from there, it's going to take you immediately into the status section. All right. Before we move forward and we create a listing, I want to make sure to mention on our website, if you go to MiamiRealtors.com, we have a section right here where it says MLS. We do have the MLS policies and procedures located right here. And then we have a section within the MLS policies and procedures under section 1.1.3. 
that says the following, section 1.1.3, listings prohibited in countries where sanctions are in place. So these are the countries as it stands right now that you're not able to add. Uh, for example, Cuba, Crimea, region of Ukraine, uh, Venezuela, North Korea, I Iran, and Syria. But I also wanted to make sure I mentioned uh, the U.S. Departments of the Treasury has sanctions in place against the following countries unless specifically authorized by Office of Foreign Assets. Um, it does mention also down here listings in the Miami MLS in countries where the U.S. Department of Treasury has issued sanctions are not permitted. This list is current as of date. The MLS rules were most recently adopted and list is subject to change with or without prior notice by the U.S. Department of Treasury. So I do want to make sure I go over that. All right. Perfect. So, all right. So we have the very first section, which is status. Um, if your intention is to launch the listing automatically, uh, meaning that same day, you're going to want to select active and then move on to the next section, which is location information. All right. However, if you're going to list, uh, if you're going to launch the listing as coming soon, you would simply select coming soon and then enter the go live date as well. All right. So what we're going to go ahead and do, guys, is we're going to launch the listing as active. We're going to go here under location information. And then whenever you're entering entering a international listing, uh, what you want to first do is go here under area. You're going to select uh, the applicable area. In order to select the applicable area, do you do need to first change the county. So you're going to go here under county and then you're going to select the option located right here, which is outside of Florida. From here, it's going to allow you to switch the area to 5990, which is the international area number when listing. From here, you can start building the listing. You can input the street, the compass point, the street name, the zip code, the folio number. If there's not one, you can contact our MLS department. They can help you launch the listing. Uh, from there, you can input if there is a state. If there's not a state, you do have the ability to keep FL within the information. Uh, from there, you can input the legal description, zoning as well. Let me go ahead and click validate. All right, boom. So from there, you uh, don't have to fill in this section. You would fill in the legal, zoning, parcel number, subdivision information, and then you would locate the property using the uh, get lat long from address located right here. But once we clicked on 5990, the system now knows that we're creating an international listing. So in, or in order for the system to map it correctly, you're going to go right here under global regional area. And then you're going to go right here where it says global region. And then you're going to select where the property is located. For example, we'll do one in South America. So I'm going to go right here under global region, select South America. From here, we can select the uh, country. We have Argentina all the way down to Venezuela. For this one, we're going to go ahead and do Argentina as an option. And then from there, uh, we can input the city right here. You're going to notice that it's in the section white. That means it's not required, but you can input the city as an option. I'm going to go ahead and type that in. <clears throat> and then from there, and once you activate the listing, uh, the system now knows it is an international listing, and then it will post online everywhere an international listing is available. Do you want to make sure to mention that Realtor.com does include international listings. Uh, in order to go to their international section, you would go to Realtor.com uh, slash international from there. All right. And then from here, you would continue to build the listing. You would go into the general information, the remarks, the rooms, additional information, financial uh, office information. And then once you're done from there, you would click submit. So the main takeaway is just to repeat is to make sure that you select the county outside of Florida area as 5990, which is going to open the global regional area option. And then from there, you can select the global region, the country and the city, and then you could submit the listing from there. All right, so that is how to add an international listing. The next thing that I wanted to go over for you guys real quick is Proxio. We're gonna go into our gateway from here. And then from there, we're going to go into uh, Proxio. It's gonna be this button located within your dashboard. 
All right, so as soon as you click it, guys, what it does is it takes you into the Proxio Connect system. Uh, Proxio Connect is a referral network. For example, you have a buyer, uh, you have a buyer that's in Florida, but they're looking at properties internationally. What you could do is come into this this system, and then, for example, under Build My Network you can click connect with agents. For example, you have a client that wants to wants a property located in, uh, for example, Colombia or Argentina as a couple of examples. Um, what you can do is go right here where you see connect with an agent and then search uh, based on that city. And then you can actually invite them like so in order to join your network. And then you can actually send them a message from there. All right, so we're going to quickly go over the Connect system. The main takeaway of today is we're going to jump into the showcase section where I'm going to go over where you can create a free international website. All right, so this is the dashboard. Right here is the Build My Network where you can reach out to other agents all over the world by clicking Connect with an Agent. Moving over, you do have the ability to create uh, collections on your page as well. You can also look at any listings that you've added within the MLS on this section. And then moving over, you also will receive network su suggestions, agents that you may want to add on the right. And then over here, I am a premium agent. The reason being is I, I work for the association. Yours isn't going to say pre, uh, premium. It's going to say the, the regular access. However, if you, again, if you do want to upgrade to the Platinum Plus membership, it's the 179 a year. That's going to give you the ability to feature up to six listings under their property search option right here on the left, meaning your listings are going to show up at the top as well as your agent profile under this, uh, um, sections uh, connections sorry about that all right give me one second <clears throat> and then from there uh, moving over on the left we do have the section promotions what that does is it works uh, like a blast notification to everyone within your network in order to uh, effectively blast agents you do have to build your connections first all right moving down there is a section for properties if you do want to uh, search for uh, properties you would go right here under find properties and you from there you can search for international properties by clicking find properties and then the last section that we're going to go over because i want to make sure we have a, a time for proxio showcase the next one is connections all right so from here you do have the ability as i mentioned to build connections with agents all over the world in order to to uh create a referral Right here is the uh, agents that I've already connected with, but you do have the ability to click the connect with agents in order to search for agents all over the world. For example, you can search within the United States, Uruguay, Uzbekistan, Venezuela, all over the world right here. Their profiles are going to show up like this. What I want to make sure I mention is you, you want to make sure that if you go into the connection section, you want to make sure that you invite uh, individuals with a mugshot. If you don't see a photo, it, they might not use the system effectively. So I just wanted to make sure I mentioned, or they may not use it at all. All right. So that's just a brief look at Proxio Connect. Our goal is to bring back Proxio where we bring, we go over everything in full detail. Again, this is more of a little, um, this Matrix 7-1 is more of a, just a little sneak, sneak peek at everything. Uh, from here, we're going to go to Proxio Showcase at the top. I mentioned this earlier that you guys do have the ability to get a free website from Proxio where your clients can search uh, for listings within Florida and also internationally. You're going to have your website link right here. But before we actually create the website, I want to first go over each section located right here. All right. So the very first thing I wanted to make sure to mention is whenever you create a website with Proxio, you do have the ability to include developments all over the world. And you can also feature listings in order to have developments and listings that you can feature uh, show up on your web page. You're first going to want to click on property search at the top. All right. And then from here, you can search, for example, based on the city, state or country. You can search by minimum, maximum price, the bedrooms, the bathrooms and, of course, property type. And then if you want to get advanced, you can click the plus more filters in order to search by, for example, distance, 
minimum or maximum square footage and also amenities as well. All right. So real quick, it does uh, give us some preset options to search. It does allow us to search for condominiums, residential high rises, luxury listings, single family homes, townhomes all over the world, golf communities, uh, residential low and mid rises, uh, vacation homes, waterfront properties, tourist destinations, corporate offices, fractional and timeshares, investment opportunities, custom homes, and then premium properties in Mexico, commercial properties, industrial spaces. So it does include commercial. Uh, properties located in Mexico as a quick little search option. Land listings all over the world. And then we have an option for other, an option to search for rentals, listings specifically within the USA, uh, properties located in India, Costa Rica, Canada, Spain. Again, these are presets, though. You could just jump in there and then search, for example, just for listings in Spain or by developer. So we also have Lennar Homes located here. Residential, subdivisions, lots and land, business, private properties, luxury rentals as well. All right. So what we're going to go ahead and do first is I'm going to jump into the single family homes option. I'm going to give that a click. All right. And then from here, we do have some listings that we do have the ability to follow. So for example, I'm going to look at this one right here in Canyon Falls. I'm going to go, go ahead and click on follow. And we're going to look at some other listings as well. I have this one, five uh, Ernst in New York. And also this one in New York, I'm going to select that one. I'm going to click back. And let's. the whole point of this class is international. So we're also going to look at international properties as well. So I'm going to look at, for example, uh, Spain. All right. So we do have this property that we can follow. I'm going to click on follow this property. I'm also going to look at, um, let's look at this one right here, Piso in Guadalamina in Spain. Follow this property. I'm going to back out. And then we're going to also add some development. So I'm going to go right here under Lennar Home. And then we're going to also add Belmont Executive as an option, McCrary as well, and Mira Mesa. All right. So we're going to go ahead and back out, guys. From here, we're going to scroll up. We're going to click on Home. There you go. All right. And then from here, we now have more developments that we can feature on our page available right here. All right, so these are gonna be develop developments located specifically within the United States that we can feature. And then we also have the ability to go to the very next section, which is manage listings. So these are going to be the listings all over the world that I have selected. We have one right here in Barcelona. We have one, one here in Spain. We have one in New York as well. And one right here as well in Spain and then two right here located in Virginia. So I just wanted to show you, you do have the ability to uh, feature listings on your page. We're gonna go ahead and build that in a moment. And then if you would like, you can click, for example, edit properties if you wanna remove one. For example, you can go right here. If you no longer wanna have this property, you could just select unfollow and then click uh, save. All right, the next thing that I wanna go over is the cool part of Proxio. Um, for example, you have a listing, your listing, and you want to create a brochure on it, or you want to create a brochure on an international property. You're going to go right here where you see sales kit. You're going to give that a, a click. Um, right now, I don't have any listings, unfortunately. We don't get to add listings. But for example, if you had a listing, you do have the ability to create a brochure. So you would just simply go under this menu, select the listing that you want to create the brochure for. You're going to go right here. For example, I'm going to select this one in Arizona. And then what you have, you can do is you have a couple of different options. For example, you can send this property directly to your client via email, or you can use the option right here, which is send brochures. All right, I'm going to go ahead and click on that. So for example, if you want to send a brochure of your listing directly to your client, you can use this option. You could go right here, send brochures, and then you can input their email address. For example, I'm going to go ahead and put in a staff email real quick, and then I'm going to put new uh, home in Arizona just as an option, or you can put your own listing. And then from there, I'm going to include the default. I saw this and thought you might be interested. From there, click uh, send. 
All right. So it has been successfully sent from there. All right. Bear with me a moment. Let me see if I got that email. Now, just as a test email so I could show you guys. Let me scroll down. Let's see. All right. I don't think I got it, but bear with me a moment. I did, I did create one the other day, though. Let's pull up that one. Give me one second. All right. Okay. So whenever you do that, you, it creates a beautiful brochure, like so, of the property right here. This is an example. This is the one that I, I used as a test last week. So you have the very first page. It's going to give you the information of the property. Again, you could do this for your very own listing for marketing purposes. And then from here, it's going to give the uh, photo of the property, the bedrooms and bathrooms, the room, the area, the lot, and the remarks as well along with uh, key characteristics of the property on the left and then where it can be accessed via Proxio as well. So I just wanted to make sure to go over the sales kit. The sales kit is not just for you featuring other agents listings, but if you do have any listings, you can uh, generate the brochure option and then send that to your client. It just look, looks uh, really snappy and it's uh, professional. All right. The next thing that I wanted to go over here is they do have a section for leads. So whenever we create the page right here, anyone that visits your page, they're going to load into the Proxio system as a lead. You also have the ability to, in, um, rather, you can import your contacts directly from Matrix into Proxio as well. In order to do so, you're going to go into Matrix. You're going to go here under my matrix. You're going to select contacts. And then from there, you're going to select the very first square right here at the top. You're going to go here to actions, and then you're going to be able to click on export as so. And then you can actually import your contacts directly into uh, Proxio. There you go. Right into Proxio by clicking import right there. All right. The next final section before we build the website is the section my listings all right so this option is not for free this is a part of the platinum plus membership if you guys upgrade it's that 179 a year and then what they do is they create a beautiful single listing website for your your listing uh using the option right here all right so i'm going to go over the next thing that we're going to go over, guys, <clears throat> excuse me, sorry about that. The next thing that we're going to go over is how to create the free website that you get with Proxio. All right. In order to do so, you're going to go right here. You're first going to review your account information. From here, you can look uh, you look at your first and last name. Um, maybe if you got married, if it's changed, you can go right here under first and last name, update it. And then you can also change your password as well and then click on update. All right, the next thing I wanted to show you is how you can customize your profile. From here, we're going to click on profile. All right. And then from here, this is what the actual profile looks like. This is an example of the one that I created. Uh, in order to have all of these sections available along with your information, you're going to go right here where you see edit profile, and you're going to give that a click. All right. From here, you can input your agent image right here. You would just click on upload photo. And then you also have the ability to change the dimensions of the photo by clicking this button. Or if you don't like the photo you uploaded, you can click on the uh, remove photo option right here on the right. All right, moving down, we have the next section, which is about me. From here, you can input your first, your last name, and then this is going to be your website right here. This is the public URL. This part, you cannot change the proxioshowcase.com slash PX, but the extension part is customizable. So you can go right here and input the, uh, the last part of the URL based on your choosing. For example, you could put your uh, first name plus the uh, letter of your last name at the end. From there, you can input your contact email. You want to input your business email, not your personal email, the one that you want to receive whenever you get leads right here under contact email. Moving down, you also want to make sure that you input your telephone number so that anyone that goes to your Proxio webpage and does a search, they're going to be able to uh, see your telephone number and maybe reach out to you directly. All right, moving down, you can also include your cell phone number here. Uh, you have your company, your brokerage information right there. Next is job title. For example, you could put uh, realtor, 
Realtor Associate under the job title. Next is where you can input your license number as well. All right, moving down, you have the ability to change uh, your headline, either in English, Espanol, Francais, Portuguese, uh, Chinese, uh, Japanese, and also Deutsch as well. So I'm going to stick with English. Uh, for example, if someone uh, goes to the web page and searches in English, they're going to be able to see your information. Or if they go to your website, for example, you want to you have uh, uh, cl uh, clients that speak just Spanish, you can switch it to Espanol and then input your information as well. That way, if they switch to the language Spanish, they see your information. All right, moving down, you can also enter the address of your brokerage where it's located right here. You would just simply input the address and then it's going to find it on the map. You input the country and the uh, state of where your office is located, along with the city and the street, street number and zip code. All right. Also wanted to make sure to mention that your web page also includes a section for if you've ever received any awards or honors, if you have any qualifications. For example, you could put any designations or certifications that you have here under qualifications. And then you can also add any cre uh, credentials. For example, if you have a PA, you can put that right there. Again, what we're doing is we're looking at the English section. If someone goes to your web page and searches in English, um, also we do have a, a you know a very large Spanish market as well. So if you do speak Spanish and you do have Spanish clientele that you that may visit your website, again you're going to want to switch it to Espanol, and then input the information into that section also. All right, moving down, you also can include the languages that you speak using the options here. We have uh, from Afrikaans all the way over to UK English as well. So it would be advantageous for my uh, for my bilingual or multilingual uh, folks out there to go here and input those languages that you speak. All right. Moving down, you can also include any specialties. For example, if you specialize in uh, specific types of property, you can list those here. For example, I selected active adult, investment property, mid-rise, townhomes, high-rise, lots, multi-generational. And then you have the ability to also include a cover video. For example, I included the one that is available on our stats page on our on the uh, Miami Realtors Association's uh, YouTube channel. I featured that at the top. All right, moving down, you can also include all of your social media. You have the ability to include your Facebook, your Twitter, your LinkedIn, Instagram, Skype. And if you have a website, a primary website, you can input that information here along with your WhatsApp. Do you want to make sure to mention also that you can include your Google Analytics information here in order to see who's clicking where on your website? All right, so from here, you can also change the, the uh, categories of your website based on your choosing. I do suggest to have About Me as the first one, Properties as the second, Feature Listings as third, and then the uh, developments, the new developments as fourth. However, if you do want to change them, all you have to do is hover your mouse, and then you do have the ability to move them around. All right, from once you're done, once you create your website, from there, you're going to click Save. And then from there, you can preview your website by going up here to Proxio Showcase and then clicking right here where it says share this pu uh, public profile with your client. That's going to take you straight to how your client would see your web page. So right here we have your client. Uh, for example, you uh, submit this uh, web page to, uh, to Facebook. I would suggest to do so. You can go right here under uh, share. You can click Facebook. What that's going to do is create a little... Uh, advertisement of your Proxio Showcase page into your Facebook account. And then if anyone clicks on it, they start doing searches. For example, they, it's going to take them back to your website. They have the ability to go right here under properties in order to start doing searches. So first, before we go into properties, this is the about me section. It has my full name. It's got the about me my title, languages that we that I speak. I forgot to add a couple, it's just showing English. Uh, also shows my specialties as well. But uh, again, the main po purpose of this website is to allow uh, potential clients to search for listings within the United States and also abroad. So but they're, in order for them to search, they're gonna go right here under properties. 
And then they have two different categories that they can search. Right here, they have My Global Listings. That's going to allow them to search for listings all over the world. They would come down here. They could search by country, region, and city, as an example. Bedrooms, bathrooms, price range, uh, square footage. And also, they can search based on mon different monetary systems. They have USD all the way down to... Uh, J-O-D. I'm not sure what that is, unfortunately. All right. So we're going to go ahead and get out uh, from there. All right. And then from there, guys, um, in order for them to search, they just input their information. They click on search. And then that's going to pull up all of the applicable listings that are available. So from there, they can search based on the options here, for example, the grid view, or they can click on map in order to search based on map. Moving over to the right, we have the next section, which is featured listings. These are the listings that we featured earlier once we did the Proxio search. We have them listed here. Moving over, we have the next section, which is new developments right here. These are the developments that we added as well. So I, I wanna repeat, this is a free website that you get. If anyone goes, to your website, they do have the ability to register whenever they find a listing. For example, if they they uh, find this listing, they're interested in that listing. They do have the ability to go right here. They have your contact information if they want to maybe call you or if they want to request more information on any listing that they see. For example, anything in the United States or internationally, they can go right here where it says request for more information. They can input their full name, their email address, their phone number, and the message that they want to, what they want to tell you. And then whenever they register, what that's going to do is that's going to turn into a lead that is going to be available via the email address that you have registered right here. All right, so that is that is it for today, guys. I just want to recap real quick. We did go over a, a lot of different options. This is just a little taste of the of what we could potentially offer to you guys uh, for training for international. That's going to be it for now, guys. Thank you so much for attending. Uh, you have a great day. Take care. Thank you. Bye.